What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to go over Clone Commander Fox, kind of show you the accessories, and do a little posing with them. All right, so here we have Commander Fox in his Phase 1 armor. You're seeing some of the side art. And this is the back. There's various pictures from uh, the Clone Wars, uh, the animated series. Some more side art. But yep, yeah, this is what he basically looks like. Let's open him up, look at you know, the figure, his accessories, and a little bit of backstory on Commander Fox. Okay, so let's open him up. And here you get a look at Commander Fox. And... Here are the accessories that it comes with. I'll take these out here in a minute so you can uh, get a better look at them. There is a little backstory on Commander Fox. I'll let you pause the video if you want to read it. So I'll give you a second to do that. Here's a little telling about you know what's going on with the Clone Wars and a little bit of history with that so again if you want to be able to read it I'll let you pause it but yeah let's get him out of the box and let's check him out and here's Commander Fox out of the box haven't really posed him yet, just kind of wanted to give you, you know, an overall view of this figure. Um, just a couple things to keep in mind is this figure is a Sideshow 1-6 scale Star Wars figure, Commander Fox, that was released in about 2012. So... You know, just kind of keep that in mind when I kind of go over, you know, this figure's articulation. But before we get into that, I want to show you the accessories that he does come with. And here's all the accessories that he has many different hands uh, for, you know, whatever you want him doing, whether it's uh, pointing out uh directions where to send other troopers you know, so he has this pointing hand this pointing hand and the regular this single index finger uh, the whole chopping hand or using this hand for a different signal uh, a couple little grippy hands and trigger fingers one thing that he does come with that a lot of the new figures don't are these other feet sculpts where the toy the toes not toys the toes are pointed up so you know you can have him look like he's running or kneeling it didn't really seem like these were very art, you know articulated here um, I tried moving them, um, but either they're really tight, or I don't want to take the chance on breaking them. So maybe they don't move. The one thing I do like about these different hand sculpts, uh, the weathering that's on the armor piece. You know, it's like Commander Fox is not what they would call shiny. You know brand new 
soldier fresh out of the Camino area that hasn't seen any kind of battle. And for weapons, you have two different blasters and two pistols. Now, the one thing that I thought was pretty cool with these weapons um, is that they are somewhat weathered, if you can see that. Uh, there's a little bit of weathering going on. So, it, again, it doesn't seem like it's a brand new blaster that hasn't seen a lot of action. So, let's get Commander Fox into a few different poses after we check out his articulation. Just again, kind of keep in mind that I did not get him from Sideshow when he came out. I got him basically, you know, secondhand, or uh, so there might be a few issues. And this is my first trooper. Uh, other Sideshow Hot Toy figures that I got are mostly like main character, um, this is gonna be new for me. One thing I do like is all the weathering on this figure. You now, again, like I said, with the accessories, Commander Fox is not a quote unquote shiny. You no, know, he has seen some battles. So, I believe is head here is like on a double ball joint so you do definitely get some tilts and you know, not a whole lot of up but you know a good amount of down his arms kind of go up about only that much? Is that right? Um, seems like it goes up a little bit higher and the shoulder pauldrons kind of move out of the way but I think you don't if you do pose them you don't want to leave his arms up or maybe the pauldrons will warp and stay in that position. I noticed that the armor for the elbow and the bicep are kind of just floating. Like they can rotate. Uh, same with the arm gauntlets. So he does have some tilt side to side on the body. Uh, not a whole lot with the moving back. Uh, he has a little bit of forward. Um, I think there is a double ball joint for the arm, but it's, I think it only goes up so far because of the armor. And front leg can only go about that much but maybe if you turn the armor a little bit it can go up a little bit higher there's a double knee joint I believe and it can go about that much again I don't want to force it let me move this out of the way and yeah it goes about that much doesn't seem to be a whole lot of articulation in the ankle joints and you know these are soft goods um, I'm not sure of the material maybe some kind of polyester it's, oh, I don't think it's cotton and I doubt it's pleather 
But I could be wrong. If you know, uh, leave a comment in the down below. And he comes with two holsters for his pistols. So, you know, he, kind of a universal joint for his hands, I believe. Does have some some articulation there. You know, can definitely rotate it, and you know, goes up and down. And like I said, I think it's universal ball joint. Just got a twist and move it where you want the hand to go to. But yeah, that's pretty much a lot of his articulation. Now let's see what kind of poses we can get Commander Fox into. So here we have Commander Fox in kind of a basic pose with him using his two pistols. Um, I'll try to do some more interesting poses with his bigger blaster because I also want to check out some of the different uh, feet sculpts that he came with and use some of the other hands you know not just his two trigger finger hands but you know so far I think the Commander Fox looks great I do have some little nitpicks but you know I'll kind of get to those later so let's get into a different pose here we have Commander Fox giving directions to his troops. Um, he kneels down pretty well and I made use of the one foot with the toes kind of flexed up. Uh, the blaster that he's holding definitely has some weight to it. So, you know, you got to be careful when you're posing it with them. Um, if you want it where his arm is bent you're going to either have to support against the body or have the other hand holding it because it won't freely just stay there the weight will kind of bring his arm to straighten out but so far i do like this figure um i'm enjoying putting him in different poses so I think I might want to do one more with Commander Fox and then I'll just kind of give you my final thoughts about this figure. So I'll be right back. Here's Commander Fox kind of holding the big blaster again with both arms, both hands, kind of just Kind of walking on patrol, looking for those clankers, or otherwise known as the battle droids that the Trade Federation uses, or the Separatists, um, I, pretty much at this point in the Clone Wars. So far again, I'm really digging this figure. Um, looks fantastic. But I'll be back kind of with my final thoughts. So stay right there. All right, so my final thoughts and little nitpicks of this figure. I really love the details of this figure and all the accessories that it comes with. You know, the weathering in the armor, the weathering in the weapons and just you know all the detail even the under clothing which i believe is a type of cloth instead of rubber makes it easier to put commander fox in various poses but some of the things that kind of annoyed me just a little bit are the floating armor pieces you know when i'm trying to change either the feet or the hands 
Got to make sure that those armor pieces don't fall off. And the, like the bicep armors, uh, you have to kind of keep putting those in the correct positions. Same with the elbow guards. Uh, they just kind of, they're fr free floating. And sometimes they kind of want to move on their own when you don't want to. But overall, I give this figure a thumbs up. You know, I'm happy that I got this figure. And, you know, I don't really have a whole lot of bad things to say about it. But that's going to do it for this video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I would appreciate it. If you enjoyed this somewhat review and posing session with Commander Fox, then give it a thumbs up. And as always, collect what you like. Be awesome to one another. Until the next video. Love said.